Hi friends, Ashley Brown, Sam the Ambassador and Mazzani Artist and Textbert here to talk to you, or show you rather, how to make your curls last for days. First, we're starting with Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk, applying it mid shaft to ends before we detangle the hair. We're using our Sanvia panel brush to detangle. We have already prepped the hair using Mazzani's press agent shampoo and conditioner. Now we're going through with our Sanvia continuous spray bottle to thoroughly saturate the hair before we apply our products. Here we have our True Textures Perfect Coil Oil Gel, and as we're applying it on the fully saturated hair, we are compressing it into the strands, and then going through and using our Sambia 9 Row Brush to evenly distribute the product before we scrunch to encourage our curl. As you scrunch, you should hear a nice little squishing sound that will ensure that you have enough water and saturation on that strand before you're applying your products. Here I'm just misting my section with a little bit of cocoa dew before I move on to the top, front, and sides of the head. The cocoa dew is going to help to set the hair so again I can get more days out of my wash and go, more days out of my beautiful curly style. Just look at how juicy and saturated these curls are before I even go through and apply the product. I just love my Sanria 9 Row Brush because you can see how it easily separates my clumps of curls and coils so that I really have some nice definition out of my wash and go style. Look at all that beautiful definition and that beautiful shine that the Perfect Coil Oil Gel will provide. Here in the front, there's one thing I wanted to point out that I do a little bit differently. I'm still saturating, still using my nine row to evenly distribute the Perfect Coil Oil Gel throughout the hair. But now what I'm actually going to do is in the front around her hairline, I'm just gonna finger coil a few pieces. So you can just see how I'm wrapping my finger around those strands just to give them more definition before I still scrunch and encourage that curl. Here I'm going through with my Sambia Proionic Dryer and my Deep Bowl Diffuser. I have the heat setting on high and the airflow setting on medium. I don't want too much airflow because I really don't want to cause frizz. So here I'm going around and oscillating my dryer just to begin to set my products. Once my products are set, I'm gonna to begin to do a blow dry dance with Mandy here. You can see I'm having her tilt her head to one side going in and out with the diffuser, to the other side, in and out with the diffuser, then all the way to the front, and then of course, making sure to have her tilt to the back and in and out with my diffuser. This is what's gonna give me these beautiful, completely dried curls without any frizz. So here we're looking at day one of Mandy's beautiful curls. So she has her fresh wash and go, it's nice and set, she's got beautiful definition, beautiful shine, and she is ready to begin her week with her beautiful curly style. Check out that shine and movement. We love it. All right, now here we are at the end of her day one. So she wore her wash and go. Now we are using this um, little scarf here to pineapple her hair so that she can sleep at night. All right, here we are on day two of the curls. And you can see I'm just going through and kind of scrunching and loosening up that texture. Now we're going through with Mazzani's Cocoa Dew and I'm just gently misting it all over. And then I'm actually just gonna really go through with my Proionic Dryer and my Deep Bowl Diffuser. Low airflow, medium heat setting, and I'm literally just gonna scrunch that product into her hair. This is gonna to help to reduce any sort of frizz that she might have been experiencing that was created from how she slept overnight. So here you can see I'm just scrunching that product in, using my fingers like a large wide tooth comb to manipulate and fluff that hair. So lots of scrunching, lots of fluffing. You can even go through and gently separate some of her coils. One thing to be aware of is that if you are prone to frizz or if your guest is prone to frizz, you will want to apply a little product on your hands to ease that separation process. So the Mazzani 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil is an amazing product if you need to separate those clumped curls, separate those coils um, to give you more softness and, and definition. And here we are, ready for day two.
Still soft and touchable, still very much frizz free. All right, and when we get ready for bedtime, same routine, we are pineappling that hair so that it stays protected and prevents frizz so we can continue to get longevity out of our style. All right, so here we are day three. So as you can see, there's a little more frizz to the hair, a little less definition and volume on one side versus the other. So again, we are just going through with Mizani Cocoa Dew to refresh those curls. So I'm very mindful to spray directly on the areas that are frizzy and scrunch that product in. By scrunching it in, I'm helping to reactivate that natural texture, but also helping to reduce the frizz. All right, here we are with our Samvia Deep Bowl Diffuser and Pro Ionic Dryer again and literally just going through and setting that product. You can definitely let the cocoa do air dry, but if you are trying to get more days out of your curls, more days out of your wash and go style, using the dryer to set the cocoa do right away is going to help you immediately set more definition. You can already see how the first side of her hair is just coming to life as we are diffusing and drying that cocoa do in. Once I've repeated the process on the other side, I'm just taking a little bit of cocoa dew in my hands and I'm going to slick back one side of her hair. I'm not slicking it back really tight. I still wanna see some of that curl pattern. I still wanna see some of that definition, but just kind of gently smoothing and slicking it back so that for her day two style, she can wear what we would call a half back style. I'm using my um, Sanvia clips here to just place the hair where I want it to be. So once I have it placed where I want it to be, then I'm gonna go through with some really pretty silver bobby pins just to keep that one side of the hair back and add a little bit of detail or embellishment. So you can definitely go through with colorful bobby pins. You can even go through with really cute clips. I know they have clips out that have like little pearls on them or a little bedazzling, little gems, some shine. Anything you feel necessary to help to hold that style back and give you just a little bit of detail to make your day three of your wash and go fun and exciting. So just gently placing those bobby pins in. And as I'm placing them, they're doing two things. They're holding her hair in place, but again, they're also being used as an accessory to her style. So I have to make sure I have enough pins in there that she will be able to rock this throughout the day. So this is a very easy way to style your day two or day three curls and have it still look cute and fun, but a little bit different than your classic wash and go look. If need be, you can add a little bit more cocoa dew, scrunch and diffuse a little bit more just to add a little more volume and definition. It really just depends on how well your curls, coils and waves did overnight, um, how much frizz you had. That's gonna determine how much more cocoa dew and diffusing needs to be done. Here we are the same day. So even though it's the same day, I thought, you know what? Day three hair, she wore it to work with it half up. Now she's going on a night on the town with her friends. So even though it's day three, same day, we're actually gonna do a fourth look. How cool is that? So you can see I'm going through and just pulling half of her hair up. So you have the half up look style, and then I'm pulling a couple pieces from the front. So the hair's already been prepped with the cocoa dew. We've already used our deep bowl diffuser and pro ionic dryer to really set that product in there. So I can go through and manipulate and touch the hair and I'm not creating more frizz. Again, the secret to having your curls, coils and waves last more than one day is how you prep the hair. Because we meticulously prepped Mandy's hair, now I'm able to on day three, transition from one style to the next seamlessly without adding frizz. So I literally just sectioned her hair off, parted it half up, used um, a hair tie to just secure that hair on top. And now I'm just going through with my cocoa dew just to detail it, do some detail work. The cocoa dew isn't necessarily controlling the frizz because I'm not worrying about the frizz right now. I already did that. It's really just helping to encourage more of that curl so then I can set it with my deep bowl diffuser so I know that when she goes out to meet her friends for a drink or two or just to have some food after work, that she doesn't have to worry about her curls frizzing up if they're sitting outside on a patio enjoying the summer weather. 
So she is good to go to meet her girls out for dinner. All right. Now here we are on day four with our fifth look. Because again, remember we did two looks on our day three. So here we are day four with our fifth look. She slept with her hair in the same way in that bonnet with that pineapple um, effect to keep the hair tamed and under control. And now you can see I'm just going through and sectioning the hair. So I'm sectioning um, kind of a top triangular piece in the fringe area. I'm sectioning out her midsection and then sectioning out her back. And now I'm just going through with my Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk, applying it to the hairline and the edges and using my Sam Via Artist Series brush to smooth out the sides and back. In the second section, I'm repeating the same process using my Sam Via Artist Series brush to smooth out the sides. Here we are in the front section and I'm just finding a center part because we are going to do a center part and then we're going to gently twist that hair out of her face. So applying the 25 Miracle Milk, then using my Sam Via Artist Series brush to smooth and sleek back that hair, I'm then going to twist it out of the way to give her a nice sleeker look for her day four hair. So you can see here, I'm just twisting, twisting, twisting. You wanna have some tension, but it doesn't have to be super tight. You want some tension so that it definitely stays out of your way. And here I am just redoing it, showing you a little bit of a closer look. So you can see how easy it is just to twist that hair up and out of the way. On day four, she decided, you know what? I kinda want my curls out of my face. I want them out of my face, what can I do? What can I do different to keep that hair out of my face, but still use that natural wash and go that we created on day one. So you can see here, I twisted almost all the way to the ends, and then I just crisscrossed the two twists I made in the front, and now I am twisting it around my ponytail and using a bobby pin to secure that hair at the base. We're setting our cocoa dew with our proionic dryer, and now I'm just taking some hairpins and just gently placing the curls where I want to see them. So just take a look, just so easily gently placing. I'm even just twirling the base of the pin, or I'm sorry, twirling the end of the pin around her hair as I place it to secure it and give me the definition and style that I want out of her curly ponytail now becoming a curly bun as I'm placing, just giving that hair a little scrunch so I can just artistically take a look and see where I want things to be as I make the hairstyle come to life. Again, pointing out, look at how easily I can manipulate her hair without causing frizz. The prep work, the tools you're using, the styling products you're using, all of this is gonna set you up for success with your clients or even allow you to show your clients how to set themselves up for success at home with their natural styles. Last but not least, I am just taking a little bit of the Mazzani True Textures Sleek Holding Gel and just emulsifying in my hands and gently smoothing a little bit over the perimeter of my style. You can see she has a teeny, teeny bit of frizz around there. And so the Sleek Holding Gel is literally just going to immediately cancel out that frizz so that this style can last her throughout the day and she doesn't have to worry about any of that frizz coming back and creeping in and causing her problems. You can even use a sleek holding gel to, to coil the little edges here. You can see right at her edge, I'm just adding a little coil just for a little bit of detailing. You can also use this for edge art. Mandy isn't too into edge art, so we're not gonna go crazy with that, but I am using it to just kind of softly lay her edges um, to again, add a little bit more detailing, add a little bit more of a finished look to her natural style. Last but not least, if you're dealing with some humidity or if your guest is the type to have a little bit of frizz once they're out in the elements, if they're, if they're going outside for the day, if it's hot and humid outside, you can definitely take some of the Mazzani HRM and just mist it around your natural bun and then use your deep bowl diffuser and your proionic dryer just to oscillate and set that HRM. The HRM is a hum humidity resistant mist. So it's literally going to set your style 
and allow you to do what you need to do throughout the day without having to worry about that frizz creeping back in or coming back. I hope you enjoyed our days of curls or curls for days rather. Please feel free to reach out. Hit me up on Instagram at ash underscore hair barbie if you have any questions about the products, the tools, and the style that we created, the multiple styles we created today. <laughs>